In this problem, we have a block resting on a horizontal surface, kind of like this. And the block has a weight of 4.0 newtons, and there are three different forces acting on the block. There is the force of the block's weight, which is directed downwards towards the earth, and it's the weight. There is the normal force acting upwards on the block from the table, the normal force. And then there is an additional upwards force from the string, and this is the one that has a magnitude of 1.0 newtons. Now this problem is asking for the force that the block is exerting on the horizontal surface. There are a couple different ways we could solve this problem, but the first method I'm going to consider is to note that because the block is at rest, that means that the net force, the sum of all the forces on the block, must be equal to zero. So if we add up all three forces together, then that should be zero. So first I'm going to define a coordinate system. I'll say that upwards is positive, and then let's add the forces. So there are three different forces on the block. There is the upward force from the string, the 1.0 newtons. Then in the negative direction, because it's pointing downwards, there's the weight of the block, which again, given to us by the problem, is 4.0 newtons. So it's 1.0 newtons minus 4.0 newtons. And then finally, in the upwards direction, there is the normal force acting on the block. We don't know what the normal force is, but we can find it using this force equation. If we condense this equation a bit, uh, 1.0 newtons minus 4.0 newtons, that becomes a negative 3.0 newtons plus the normal force, F sub n. And then adding both sides by 3.0 newtons to solve for the normal force, we find that the normal force of the surface on the block is 3.0 newtons. This is relevant because of the way normal forces work and because of Newton's third law. This is the magnitude of the force that the surface exerts on the block, so this must have the same force magnitude as the one that the block exerts on the surface, but in the opposite direction. So that means that the block exerts a force on the table of negative 3.0 newtons. So the 3.0 newtons is the magnitude, and this negative indicates that the force that the block exerts on the table is pointed downwards. So this is our answer to the problem. I mentioned that there was another way we could solve this problem. Technically, this problem is simple enough that you could probably just figure out the answer just using a basic intuition, because the block has a weight of 4.0 newtons. So normally, that is the force that the block would put on the table. But since we've got this string taking away 1.0 of those newtons, it's kind of intuitive almost to think that the effective weight of the block is going to be 3.0 newtons, and that that's the new weight that it's putting on the table. So that way of thinking about it also works. It might be a little more intuitive in some ways, but it's also a little less mathematically and physically rigorous. So pick whichever method you prefer, I suppose. But just keep in mind that in cases of more complicated forces and more complicated directions, that sort of thinking won't always work. But for nice problems like this, it kind of does. But that's all for this video. I hope it helped you out. And if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll try to answer any questions or concerns. And if you have a request for a future video to make, um, I've got a Discord server linked down below. All are welcome. And I try to take as many requests as I can and make videos out of them. So that's all for now, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.